Hey there, welcome to the weekly read. I am going to look at what is going on for this week. We're going to talk a little bit about astrology coming in, what's going on this week. Also on Wednesday, if you want to take this a little step further, um, I do a members only reading uh, about the energies of the week, astrological happenings, things like that. Um, so Wednesday, if you want to join the channel, we do uh, all Zodiac around that. So specific to you. That's what we're going to look at on Wednesday. Um, but right now, let's look at what's going on for everybody. I'm using the Empathic Oracle deck today. Definitely feeling lots of, um, I'm going to say Kundalini energy for lack of a better word. I definitely have felt the energies this week or this weekend of crown chakras being upgraded. Not really for the faint of heart. I mean, it was very, it was a little painful, you know, lots of pressure, um, feeling a lot of pressure, almost like, you know, on my, on my energy, but in a way that was like, okay, I'm trying to open you up more. Rah! Right. Like a little bit like that. Right, Charlie. Yeah. So let's see where we go here. I will talk about um, Saturn and Uranus being in a in a square, which is essentially creating tension. The reason this is really important to me to talk about is that this is really about 2021. It's not about one week out of a year because this is going to happen three times over the course of this coming year. Um, so like first act, second act, third act, very much, very much so. Um, June, and then I think it's December, November, December that the third time happened. So it's all about 2021, totally, totally, man. So if you want to check out the live reading on Wednesday, we'll do more of those um, kinds of things where we're intersecting astrology and tarot. As you know, I'm doing that more and more. So if you like the content I create, please like, subscribe, and share. Helps it like kind of get seen in other quadrants other than my own little little corner of the internet gets it seen in a bigger way okay thank you in in advance so let's see where we go let's see where we go what is going to be going on for this week any particular zodiac signs that do show up i will call them out and i will do a little extended version of, if you want to go deeper all right adversity mm-hmm have been feeling that adversity. <laughs> Mountains. If your crown chakra has been feeling a lot of pressure, it's because there's something bigger for you. Okay. And if you're feeling right now, um, the square of, of Saturn and Uranus, Saturn is about tradition and Uranus is about busting through traditions. Okay. Stuck, right. Busting through that energy. It can feel a little stuck. Um, it can feel that way. But I, I almost feel like it's it's mostly that way because um, you've achieved so much already that it's like, oh, now I got to climb that thing. I thought I just climbed the Matterhorn. Now I've got, you know, Vesuvius. Now I've, <laughs> oh God, I hope not. Now, now I've got, you know, Mount Etna. Now I've got, you know, the universe to climb, right? You're, you've, you, some of you, I think most of you watching this have really done some very good work in terms of, um, being in your power, stepping into your power. Um, even when it feels hard to do, you're doing it. Even when it feels like your people are seeing like your, your inner weirdo, Right. Like even when you're you're being vulnerable and showing yourself like that hurt me, that hurt my feelings or saying things that people could, you know, if they were less trustworthy, they could harpoon you. And then you really know who they are. So that's not always a bad thing. OK, to really have you be seen or really see people for who they are through your own vulnerability. Um, that's not a bad thing. Charlie, you're in trouble. He knows. Believe me, he knows. He doesn't like sharing me with you. Okay? I, I have you have you understood that? Have you seen that so far on the channel? Queen of Wands. I just saw Queen of Wands here. Could be fire signs dealing with this energy in particular. 
So let's see where we go. There will be an extended if you want to go deeper. Okay. Yeah. Seven of Swords underneath. You could really be feeling like someone's lying to you. Or you could really see that very clearly. See people's inauthenticity through the lens of your own authenticity. So you're being more authentic. And it's really easy now for you to call out the people who are being less authentic, right? Judgment, five of wands, six of cups, death, three of swords, ace of cups, page of swords, lovers, five of cups, five of cups here. I see Gemini, I see Scorpio. I do see Pluto here, and especially with Scorpio here, lots of change and transformation. I feel like somebody is really resisting coming back around to you, but they want to. They, want, they know that they may have lied or they know that they did something that caused, you know, the separation here. Three of Swords. Okay? They know it. And they're, they're fighting with themselves whether to come back around. Okay? Fighting with themselves. And I feel like you're in the middle of a big transformation here. This person is part of it. This person is part of your transformation. Okay, so there is a new beginning here. I do like this, Ace of Cups. I feel like this person is going to say how much they regret what went down before. Whatever before was, okay? Um, person coming back from your past... Knight of Wands, could be a Sag. Remember I said the fire sign. Sag, Eight of Pentacles, Sag, Virgo, Hermit, Queen of Wands. There she is. Remember I saw that during the shuffle. Okay. So I'm feeling that you are, um, I don't know. I, I mean, I feel like you kind of have uh, accepted the fact that there was some kind of, you know, I mean, we were in Mercury uh, in retrograde, right? So there could have been a misunderstanding here. All right, a little misunderstanding. And you might have taken a person for a player. Uh, when I feel like they're not, I feel like they might have exuded that energy just to, like, um, protect themselves. All right, protect themselves from um, uh, vulnerability. All right, there's something here. Plutonic energy, Pluto with judgment and death, is very uh, transformational on a deep level. It's not just like, oh, I'm going to put on a new sweater. It's like, no, you're changing from the inside. <laughs> okay, something like that. Um, there is this Ace of Cups and the Page of Swords. So I do feel like even if you were hurt, by this person's lying or miscommunication, let's say. Um, I do feel like there is a chance here because some of the cups are still upright. Okay, some of the cups are still upright. And actually in this deck, you see how there's two cups over here, then there's these two cups knocked over, and then there's an ace of cups. This is almost like the four of cups where you know the universe is trying to bring in this ace of cups. And, you know, you may not be seeing it, may totally be focused on the two that are spilled. But the two, so it's not the three of cups. It's not, the three of cups aren't sitting there together. The ace of cups is not being seen. The two of cups is something that is um, still upright. So there's still some hope here. Okay, and there's hope for change with this plutonic energy. So with Mercury going direct on the 20th, Right. So when Mercury uh, goes stationary, that's super powerful. It, it's a moment of real true transformation here, I believe, especially in terms of your communication. Because the new message is coming in here. Um, somebody needs to make a choice here to speak up. I feel like this person has some kind of clarity around the fact that there may be a chance to fix this. 
all right? Because they've been working on it, all right? Internally, they've been working on it. They might have run away from this. This person might have run away from this. Knight of Wands. And that was their, that was what they were showing. They were showing a little player energy. And so it was like, okay, I'm not going to, I'm not going to pay attention to you because there's player energy here. But I feel like that person showed that like, I got a lot of choices. I don't have to deal with this nonsense. <clears throat> I feel like that person um, regrets that. I feel like you might both regret what went down. Okay. You might both regret it. Uh, clarity around the seven of swords, 10 of swords, nine of pentacles, eight of wands, queen of pentacles. All right. So now, <clears throat> so that's over. Okay. This person feels real remorse, real, real, uh, regret. And, uh, now there's going to be some confidence in terms of communication. It's almost like the surface level stuff is over. We're going Scorpio. We're going deep Scorpio with you. Okay. And <laughs> Scorpio is like, you've got to prove you're trustworthy. And so there, there, this was some kind of like cosmic test or something that if a person can fuck up and come back and own it, then there's some real, then there's something to work on. Okay. Um, they're going to need to own it though. All right. If you're, if you're the one who was hurt by this person, by their player attitude or by just like, Hey, you know, um, taking it very lightly, taking the situation very lightly <clears throat> or running away from a situation. If you're the one who was, you know, hurt by them lying. Okay. If they did something that you considered to be a lie, um, and that was meant the ending of this whole thing. I, I do think that there is a decision being made to reconnect. Okay. So a little more about the Saturn and the uh, Uranus square this week. Um, happens on the 17th. And that a square is about tension because change needs to happen. Change doesn't happen when everybody's like fat, happy, cool, awesome. This is great. No change happens. Like why? You want to stay in that energy. You want to stay in the comfortableness of that energy. Change can only really happen if there's uncomfortableness. If you're uncomfortable with what happened, okay, with how that went down, if you're uncomfortable with being seen as a liar or something like that, this person could be very uncomfortable with that, okay? Because they don't see themselves that way at all. Hermit. And they've really learned a lesson from this, okay? They really have. Uh, because I feel like you are somebody special to them. Um, and so they might have taken it very lightly and, and not realized how seriously you took it. Virgo. Um... Scorpio, Gemini, Sag. I look at those. I'm going to keep going with this and look at that. So um, let's see. One more thing about Saturn square Uranus. So Saturn is like the rules guy. Okay. This is like, I. this is how the rules are. It's not like, oh, this is my rule. This is your rule. This is like, this is objectively the rule of the forest. Okay. Whether I like it or you like it, it doesn't matter. The rules exist. Uranus is like, screw that. Up, up you go. So I feel like you guys could be making new rules for this relationship. You could be deciding that um, whatever went down, there was a reason for the miscommunica miscommunication. There was a real reason for it. Okay, so don't dismiss it as like, oh, I just screwed up and I'm sorry. That's fine. Okay, because apologies can be one of the things that that needs this person needs to learn how to do. Um, but the other thing is that uh, there's there's a much more of a how do you handle adversity? How do you handle the squares in life? How do you handle the tensions? Okay, that happen because um, there's a fundamental um, um, sort of 
you know, sand in the oyster. That's what creates a pearl, right? It doesn't come from nothing. So there needs to be like kind of that grist. There needs to be some kind of, of friction in a relationship for it to grow. And I feel like this was a communication issue with a seven of swords there. And now it can be solved by a communication issue, a very authentic one, a very, um, you know, sort of owning it kind of feeling. All right. I'm going to go deeper. I'm going to look at Virgo, Sag, Scorpio, and Gemini. I will look at those as it relates to this reading. So if you're dealing with any of those or you are one of those, that may be uh, important for you. And uh, if you want to continue on with me, the link is below.